up, guys? Welcome back to another podcast. I got a special guest. He's an inventor, CEO. Man, I want you guys to meet him, man. Um, I met him through a friend, um, and I think he's going to be a, a, a very, very good podcast. What's up, big dog? Hey, how you doing, man? Man, Thank I'm you blessed. For having me, man. Yes, sir, man. So tell us a little bit about what you got going on. Yeah, um, what I got going on is a few things. You know, I'm okay. actually an entrepreneur. I have like five different businesses. Come on. Um, and I also have a nonprofit management business where I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a voice mentor. Okay, you know, okay. Um, well, I teach them life skills, how to be a man, how to be a gentleman. Come on. Uh, right and wrong. Um, yes, so sir. So I don't actually make money from that. I'm just actually giving. Yeah, you're giving back to the community. Yeah, giving back to the community. And in and, and a time like this, you know, where the uh, social media, um, you know, Instagram. Yes, sir. We all taking, you know, our mind. And, you yeah. Know, before we take our kids' mind, I want to give a chance to mm. do the things that I did. What, hey, what, well, so what, what, what's the age range you're dealing with right so now? The age range is 8 to 18. Mm. Um, so okay. So my first, um, this past year was my first semester. Okay. Um, we had um, 9-year-olds to 13. Mm. You know, as it keeps going, I'm sure we're going to expand. Yes. You know, um, so we had six kids this past year. Mm. Um, so the plan is to get at least 30 plus. Okay. That's good man so let's talk a little bit about like um uh, man i love people like yourself that's inventors though <laughs> ain't too many inventors in the world yeah you know what i'm saying when you start to get the numbers of people that's inventing you know i mean we always use something that's already there right. but to start to invent something from scratch how do an inventor think though tell me how do you think when it comes to inventing um, well, just thinking, period, you know, my mind is always, you know, thinking about something. I always feel like I'm not doing enough or feel like something needs to get done. Yes, sir. And it does because I have, you know, five different businesses. Come on. But um, the way it goes with an inventor, you know, even when it's invented, we still or you still don't think it's good enough. So I already know. <laughs> right. So you always think, like, will the people accept it? Will they like it? Mm. How, how will they respond to it? Yes. You know, so it's always doubts, you know. Always. Uh, insecurities. Mm. Um, but at the end of the day, you're going to be your hardest critique. Mm. You know, um, and, and that should be the only thing that matters, you know. Um, how yes, you sir. Feel about yourself. And if it's not good enough, uh, you keep you keep going to the lab. You yeah. Know, you keep making improvements. Keep mm. making changes. You know, and that's pretty much what I'm doing now. Um, so I'm trying to find ways to make it even better. <sighs> Come on. So what I have here actually is a. It's called Heavy Jam. Okay. For, Hold it up right to this camera. That's for Heavy Jam uh, gun mm. safety. And what it actually does, it wraps around the trigger of a gun, and it's okay. it from being squeezed or pulled back. Mm. Uh, you know. Um, how important do I mean? How many? I mean, because you know, a lot of guns already have. The, the trigger, but this right here is that extra precaution. Right. It's just like a seatbelt. Okay. So, um, it's to help you, yourself, um, be more secure. I got you. You know, even though the car itself is a barrier for where you can be protected, mm. seatbelt is it's an extra security layer. I got you. And that's what this is because every mm. single gun don't have a built-in safety. <laughs> Right, revolvers, 100% of revolvers don't have a safety. That's true. You know, a lot of Glocks don't have a safety. Mm. You know, and these are the guns that's, you know, firing accidentally ah, in, yeah. in, in fatal shootings. Yes, and you know you can't come back. So You no. can't come back. And so what made you think about that? Like, when, when, when was the time you were sitting down thinking about, like, I need to create this? Right. Um. So it wasn't just, um. you know, it's crazy how, how it came about. Because <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just... um. I need to sit down and think about how to, you know, make this gun safety. I got you. Uh, so my background, I am an engineer. Okay, uh, okay. Right. Uh, so I am an engineer. I played football for the University of Nebraska for okay. a scholarship. Mm. And, while I t and while I was there, I took advantage of the education. Got you. So you graduated. I graduated. Yes. I got my um, bachelor's degree. Because you hear a lot of, you hear a lot of like, uh, student athletes, they don't graduate. <laughs> they don't graduate. Uh, <laughs> and I was, you know, I ain't going to lie, you know, coming out of high school. <laughs> you were like. Hey, it was all about one thing, you know, and, and that's. That's actually why I built my um just a general yes. program because it's more than just one thing. But me mm. personally, I was just my mom was just focused on the NFL. I love that NFL. What and position did you play? I played safety. Okay. Yeah, I played okay. Safety and uh, I was. So, I so was let's compare. Hitter. Let's compare. Let's compare entrepreneurship to sports. Yeah. Let's do the comparison. Like, what's some of the tools that you learn from being an athlete to transition to entrepreneur? So the things that I learned from um. From football, uh, from athlete, from athletics to um, entrepreneurship is discipline. <sighs> Say that again. Discipline, discipline man. Responsibility. Yes. And, and being accountable. Yes. And dumb three things right there is going to take you very far. Mm. 
You know, you have yes. to have discipline. You know, it's easy to go out to the club. Easy. Easy to get distracted <laughs> on social media. Easy yeah. to go play with your friends, you know, probably drink or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. Discipline, what you need to do, what you have to do, mm. is to separate you. That's good. Right. So I took that into the um to the entrepreneurship. I got you. You know, and then that's what makes me more successful. So your level of discipline. So I think people need to understand, like, I'm very to be successful, there takes a certain level of discipline. On a scale of one to ten, um, <laughs> discipline, I'm probably a nine. Ooh, come <laughs> on. Probably a nine. Yes. And I say that because, you know, everybody want to have, you know, fun yeah. or whatever. So sometimes I might have a cheat snack. Mm. Um, I might eat unhealthy drink. Oh, come drink, on. Uh, soda. <laughs> Not too much. Right. Uh, I might procrastinate or something. Oh, yeah. You know, so, and, and that's been undisciplined, mm. you know, um, but. Um, for the most part, 90% of the time, I'm very disciplined. I love that. Um, I stay um, in a house, you know, um, mm. um, as far as like parties and clubs. Oh, you don't, you, don't, you don't hit them streets? Nah. Oh, come I, on. I can't, I don't. <laughs> Uh, it's because, you know, um, when I was in high school and college and stuff, I got that out of my system. You okay, know, yeah. It. So you already did it. I did it. And then I became smarter. Mm. Um, I went to BYU after uh, okay. University of Nebraska. Okay. And there, you know, it's a lot of great people there. <laughs> a lot of great guys. But then they um, expectations and standards it's are different. way different. Wow. And higher. Uh, they expect you to be a better person than you are mm. before you come in. So, so, so when you look at like people like Deion Sanders. Going to Colorado, bringing his level, because he really pushed discipline, <laughs> yeah. character. You know what I'm saying? He really, he really pushes this. So, your transition from going from from Nebraska to BYU. How long you stayed at BYU? Uh, seven, eight months. Mm. It my last semester there, and it was a huge difference. It was a huge difference. Mm. Actually, I grew a lot in them seven, eight months. Oh wow! It was first. It was a culture shock. And then, oh. it was a, uh, <laughs> and then it was a learning shock. Mm. They do um they do uh defense differently. Ah. Uh, it was running twenty four seven. Um, mm. you know um no breaks. You know usually. And then there's a mountain. We was in the mountains, bro. The mountains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you know the oxygen right. level is different. It's different, man. It's hard to breathe. Oh uh, man. Uh, so yeah. So I learned a lot um about myself up there. Then I also mm. learned how to be more of a gentleman, more respectful. Come because, on. Um, even though I'm not not um um the same religion a Mormon yes you have to follow follow the honor code oh wow so you still even though you're you still have to follow their code right. or what they believe right and, oh wow uh, and, and that's the commitment you have to make mm. you go there and anybody can't go there let me put that out there. oh please put that out there <laughs> so what kind of people can go there what you mean how you get um, so, accepted so um first how you get accepted um first they gotta like you for um uh athletics okay um, okay that's the main reason of why course I'm there. I'll be speaking about um athletic mm. um the second thing um you have to be you know very good academically i got you um they don't you know it's almost like an ivy league school and they ain't uh, slacking they're they not slacking <laughs> um something to step on the ivy league yeah and then second you have to be endorsed mm. um, so when i mean by endorse i didn't know what it what that meant at first but i mean mm. by endorse every single state have a leader in the mormon okay um a church or whatever oh wow endorse people. so before i didn't think about that yeah so before <laughs> um i even um took a visit to um mm. you, i had to get endorsed and so they had you had to send all your paperwork in uh, pretty much um i had to go to the to this church okay um where the um preacher was there mm. uh, the priest um, we talked for like 30 minutes to an hour and a half, That's um, good. you know, and he got to learn me, know about me. Mm. And then, um, I guess that endorsement, he spoke to the church. Of oh, Christ I like there, that. And, I like uh, that. Right. And then, you know, so that's the process. Mm. So, so inventing. So how much more inventing you think you're going to do? Let's think about this for a second. Right, Cause, so, Cause if you did one, you could do a hundred. Right. So <laughs> I actually on like my second invention. Okay. So I don't want to bring it out now. Cause it's okay. patent. I all. got, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to wait. So, <laughs> yeah. Right. So um, <laughs> I'm always thinking about the next best thing. Yes. You know, and um, the way I came about that back to this. So um, I wasn't just sitting around thinking about mm. how to make a gun um, trigger. Um, safety device. I was actually, I bought a revolver. Um, mm. And actually, 2020, before this, um, my friend accidentally, um, he's like a big brother, he accidentally oh, wow. fatally shot himself. Whoa. Yeah, he was cleaning his gun or whatever. And, um, you know, like you said, accident, one shot, and um, that was a fatal shot. Um, so that always been on my heart heavy. And then I, I actually bought a revolver mm. um, a year after that, you know, for house protection. Gotcha. Um, so when I did that, I realized, man, 
this gun doesn't have a safety device. Wow. Sure. So it was that moment. It was that moment. You was like, I need to make sure that I can create something that's not already out there. That's a, that, that's not already out there. And also have a two-year-old son. And mm. You know how kids are. They in everything. <laughs> they in everything. And you tell them no, that means yes. You know, They're going to find it. And uh, man, I be gone in my son. He be in my room. I ask my lady like, hey, your Barbie been in here? <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, um, that's good. Things together, man. My mm. friend killing himself. Um, I have a two year old son, and mm. then I bought a revolver for house protection. Don't I have got to you? Save. Yeah, so I started figuring out, man, how can I make this gun? Mm. So, how many people said, "Are you crazy? Why would you do that?" Like, do you had any? You had any critics? Yeah, so of course. Um, so I, you're gonna always have <laughs> critics, and that's not gonna ever go away. <laughs> Um, even Michael Jordan and Floyd, yeah, have come critics. on, uh, LeBron James have critics <laughs> every day. Um, but um, you know, most of the critics are like you don't need that. We don't need, uh, that. yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. But every single day, somebody is dying from a a gun. accidental yes. fatal shots. Crazy, and most of them is children mm -hmm. um, because since COVID, most of the kids are in the house now. Every day, yeah. Like I said, these two year olds and three year olds, they mm. know exactly where their parents don't want them to go. <laughs> <laughs> they they gonna find the right. Spot. They gonna find the spot. <laughs> But um, so we've been seeing, uh, um, there's been a record number of children actually um, increasing from mm, gunshot wounds. That's crazy. You know, so um, with these three things that I had, uh, my friend killing himself, I got a two year old son and he's, you know, children is on the rise. I actually That's crazy. picked up my revolver that I just bought and like, man, how can I make this more safe? Mm. So I started putting together things, um, you know, to jam the trigger at least so that it won't, um, you know, pull I got back. you. I got you. Uh, and then what I first had, the first mode, doesn't okay. look anything. Nothing. Like nothing. Doesn't look anything <laughs> like this. Uh, and then how I actually got to this is because uh, I'm like, man, I can't actually pull the trigger back. So I told one person, I said, look at this. Mm. You know, like the, the trigger won't pull it back. That's crazy. Um, so then I took it a step further. Um, I tried to actually find more of those pieces that mm. I did and I couldn't find it. Um, so <laughs> like, then that's when, that's when you, yeah. did you go through the inventor process? Like the I did, I did all event that. help? You went through uh, that? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, because I already had it all in my mind. Okay, um, I got you. How I needed it to be. Okay, okay. Um, I know how to, um, you know, how to support it. Okay. Um, what needs, the moments, or um, mm. the fractions, the need to pull something I up got and you. this and that. Um, and I learned that from school, you know. I got you. Um, so I didn't have to get much more help. What I needed help with was how to make this the mold that I had at first, mm. um, how to make it, you know, more unique. Uh, uh, how yeah. to make it better. Yeah. So that's when I went to go get like some kind of clay. Um, okay. You know, I bought on Amazon. Mm. Uh, shout out to Amazon. And I'm Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, that came like the next day. And mm. uh, what happens with the clay is actually um, you can, you know, mold, mold it, it together. And then once it hits the air for like three hours or mm. two hours, it actually hardens. I got you. Right. So um, I just, um, you know, put it on the trigger. Mm. Um, you know, so that is it's a stable fit. Well, you know, and I, I I think people need to understand, like, because the process of developing something that, like, it's so hard. yeah, the minute you start it and to complete this process, it's been like a year how long? Half. A year and a half? Yeah, yeah. So I had to keep it a secret for a year and a half. Yes, yeah. yes. And that's hard. It's <laughs> hard. You're like, man, I got something that is not out there. Yes, you know, and, and you know, you want to tell your friend, his friend, and you, you're like, man, I gotta. How can I make them not tell people? They're like, oh, now I gotta get an NDA. Yes, and, you know, my yes. friends not gonna sign an NDA. They like, man, I've been knowing you since. What, what you got, man? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's so, true. So but I think I'm people didn't know that process though, because people give up quick. Right. They give up quick. Right. And the process is hard you know, mm. um, because the road is hard. Yes. Um, you know, and like I said, you put all this effort and energy into it. And then what if the world doesn't take it? And then, so that's why people give up. But mm. the people who actually do make it is the people who don't care what other people Perseverance, say. keep it's going. Perseverance and persistence. Mm. You know, uh, forget what they say. I got enough yays in my corner to keep going. Yes. All right. Yes. So I kept going. Mm. And then actually, you know, everybody that sees it, man, they love it. And they like, wow, I can't believe this already haven't been invented. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. So how are you getting them in stores now? Um, so right now, um, the best place to get it is online. Um, okay. On feet right now, going okay. into gun stores. I love um, it. Yeah, I um, love um, it. Gun markets, gun mm. shows. I mean, that's the- You already market. got it patented, though. I got it patented. Yes, I love um, it. And and that's the uh, route we're going, getting, mm. it to people, getting it to people's face. And then the next step is going to be uh, Amazon. Mm. And then from there, we're going to go into um, more stores like um, uh, Cabela's, Dick's. Got you. Good. 
um, Bass um, Sports and mm. Academy. So you 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 on this marketing transition right, right now? Right. I'm I love that. Yes, sir. I love that because that's allowing you to to get your face out there, allowing you to more right. people to know what exactly what you're doing. So you're just looking at like the different trade, the gun trades that they have, right. and getting to the marketplace. So, um, so now. And this is the thing I like to talk about. So now, you know, you had these dreams of aspirations being an athlete. And then all of a sudden, nah, I'm not going to make the league. So <laughs> then you start thinking about what else can I create? So how do your mind shift from that experience? Because it's going to be somebody watching the video be like, I ain't going to make it. What I got to do next? <laughs> so how do your mind shift to that? You know, um, you know, that mindset is always there. I'm not going to make it, <laughs> you know, um, and, and that's actually a downfall that it most is. people have. It is. Um, before anybody believe in you, you got to believe in yourself. That's facts, too. You know, and then um, even now, I, you know, I could have doubts like, man, what if the whole world don't accept, or the whole nation don't accept it? Then what? Yes. You know, but then uh, you got to have a strong mindset, mm -hmm. you know, and I actually learned, and I'm still learning. Um, how to be better at having a better mindset, you know, because there's going to be a lot of obstacles, a lot of it's ups gonna and be, downs. It's going to be, that's the nature of the beast. Right, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of um, roadblocks, a lot of people saying, hey, no, or, or the, actually the cost. <laughs> Uh, the cost of sleepless nights a lot of money. <laughs> it is. <laughs> right. It is, And that's going to break a lot of people. Yeah. Right? So, because so, once the money once the money get involved, people be like, oh, man, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I continue this. Right. Because I don't right. see no results. Right. Everybody looking for results. Right. It's like, if you're trying to lose weight, then you, one thing you got to do is start eating right. Right. And then you got to give yourself time. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you're trying to lose 50 pounds in two days. It's not, it's not possible. This is this is what I would suggest people do. Start, Come on, start backwards. Start at the goal. Mm, line reverse and, engineer it and work your way backwards. Yes, you know, like um, like you said, if you want to lose weight, yes, draw yourself at the goal line. <laughs> yes. uh, eight eight months from now, yes, of how you look, of how you want to look. Mm. Is, uh, like uh, built stocky, or if that's some like yes. you want to have the perfect figure, mm. draw that and then work backwards. What you got to do to get there. You got to do this, 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 and this, and Come on. end up back where you're at now mm. today. And then you follow that them steps all the way to the ground. And I think people need to know that because so many people, they get into the transition, they get into the grind of not understanding that success, not only do it leave clues, but success take hard work, dedication, sacrifice, consistency. Right. People tend to just quit. Right. You know, and I'm like, man, they quit. So let's talk about your legacy. You know, what you want your legacy to look like the next 10 or 20 years? Um. I want my legacy to look like um, that guy is a genius. He never gave up. Mm, I like that. You know, he's persistent. And <laughs> through all he's been through, you know, uh, because if I tell you why I started, Come on. I'm at right now, Come on. man. Uh, so I would like the world to see that yes. and to never give up when they see my story. Mm, and know? I think it, see, people need to, they need to know your story. You started a documentary on yourself? I haven't. You need to, because people need to know where you started. Man. Well, I started. I'm not even embarrassed. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed because your story is yeah. going to help somebody else. Yeah, that's true. Man, <laughs> we started Section 8, the bottom of the bottom, man. Come uh, on. I see pictures of myself, man. Come on. I don't even look the same. You <laughs> know? On, I, uh, I had, had to get braces. <laughs> hey, it's what it is. I had, man, messed up haircut. Man, whatever, <laughs> man. <laughs> you know, Ashy running around with no <laughs> shoes on. And I'm like, mama. <laughs> <laughs> what were we doing here? <laughs> what was this? Yeah. You know, and then um, I actually wanted better for myself and mm, for my family. There you go. My mother. There there you, you go. Know, so um, even though um, I had a lot of, you know, a hard uh, childhood, mm. you know, I even had speech problems growing up, you know, so I actually took it upon myself, mm -hmm. you know, to become better at everything. That's what I was supposed yeah. to be, though. Right. You know, even uh, even now that I'm out of college, I still use um, Google, YouTube. <laughs> yeah. You know, learning, DIY. <laughs> yeah. Yourself. I save a lot of money. You know? Hey, so, it is um, what it yeah, is, so man. Some things is what actually help. Mm. You know, so. so what's some of the lessons that you, you said you got a two-year-old son? Yeah. So what's some of the lessons that you want to teach him so that he don't have to experience the hardship that you experienced? So um, what I'm teaching him now, um, 
Um, to have fun, mm. you know, to be happy. Come on, you know, and also to use your head. Come on, you know. Um, so I'm also so now that I have the gist to gents program. Come on, I'm teaching um younger guys life skills stuff that I didn't know growing up. That's good. You're actually getting the advantage because you get to learn them things. As well, mm. You know, so as I'm teaching these guys, you know, uh, you know, I'm bringing it, you know, it's still fresh on me. So I'm yes. teaching him these things. Yes, you know. So when I teach the gist to gents how to be healthy, we got the mm. exercises every uh, Saturday. Um, so I love um, it. What's the name again? I got another uh, name. Jits to gents. Jits yeah. to gents. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Which just means just um. So that's a young uh a slang okay. for urban for okay. young kids. Okay, I got you. And then two Gen- gents, we changing them to gentlemen. Gentlemen, right? I got you. Yeah. So just yeah, that's a good. That's yeah, a good. That's so a good you. program, man. You know, so now my son, two okay. years old, is going on three. He's actually doing sports now. Mm. You know, he, he uh, and it makes me happy. He's Come on. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, he follow my footsteps. Come on. So he actually running through the ladders and mm. jumping, hitting, kicking the ball, swinging the bat. I love that. Yeah, right. So, so was your dad in your life? Um, In and out. In and out? In and out. Um, okay. So, 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 just some things that you don't want to be in and out, though. Right. I don't want to be <laughs> in and out. Right. I want to be locked in. I want the kids who didn't have a father figure to mm. also know that they can come to this program. Yes. And also, you know, we could be like a father figure brotherhood for them. Oh, I like you know? that. So, um, so when, even when I was born to like six years old, my father was like in prison oh wow right and then uh he got out my my parents got back together mm. and then, like when i was in fourth grade it was had to be together like what well, he got out maybe seven six okay years. okay uh, they got married in between that time but fourth grade they split up mm. it was a nasty split up oh know? yeah nasty i don't want to go into it yeah 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 um, from now we have to start back from zero. Mm. Right? We were still in the hood, you know. Fundren and uh, <laughs> I was Fundren in West Belfort. You know, Man. I went to Fundren Middle. But school. the hood, the hood, the hood, the hood taught mind. you some things, right? That your son, that you're not putting him in that situation, right. that, he, that he, he ain't gonna better learn, right? So he's not gonna <laughs> learn it the hard way. Yeah, but he's gonna learn. He's gonna, like, he gonna learn the lesson, right? He gonna gonna not, the lesson is different, right? It's gonna be different. <laughs> he's gonna get the same value that yes. I learned, but it's not gonna be, you know, it could cost you your life. <laughs> Right. Like. And I think people right. need to understand that like teaching principles and values and understanding like you're pouring inside right. of him today that so that as he's growing up, you know what I'm saying? So so growing up at the bottom, because I've been at the bottom. I tell people what you see today and where we've been. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've been at the bottom. My, my mom was on food stamps. So I understand the, the sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? Of, of just growing up and not understanding like life, not just, you know. So, I mean, and when you look back, now you have a chance. I usually ask this question, but you have a chance to tell them. If you can tell your 13 year old self mm. so that your life can look different today, what would you tell yourself? Um, I would tell my 13-year-old self, man, uh, have more fun. Mm. I took life serious because we, okay. we had it rough. You we had like, it rough. So I was like, man, I got to make Yeah, had enough time to think. Right, I got to make to the NFL, you know. Um, mm. I got to be serious, you know. I can't I have it. nobody else take advantage of me or my family mm. or whatever, you know. So, um, and, and then I actually, you know, some coaches told me, Harvey, you got the world on your shoulders. Ooh, you know, so. Come on. Uh, but I want to... What I would like for kids, you know, to have it easier or to know that it's not that serious. Come on. You know, um, you don't have Because you only to, live one, young once. You only, you're right. <laughs> and if that childhood is spent on, you know, some people going to juvenile, yes. having fights, so, yes. you know, uh, trying to make trying to make something happen when it's mm, out of your control. That's true. You know, you can't make, uh, you can't pay the bills for mama yet. You really can't. <laughs> you know, at 13. <laughs> you know, well, you can try to go in the streets and say you can make some money or yeah. whatever, but it's just getting in trouble. So mm. um, so that's why the uh, reason I built my Just to Gents program so mm. we can have, you know, children. Oh, so that's your program you built from scratch. I built it from scratch. Oh, from see. Zero. All right, so now, now we, need, we need to turn around real quick. We need to turn around. Right, right. I thought that, that you was a part of a program. No, I built it oh, from scratch. You Built right, it from scratch. Right. I, invented, oh. I invented this too. Okay, okay. <laughs> right. And, I like that. And, I, and, 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 and you know, actually, I tried to get into a Boy Scout program when mm. I was young, and they denied me. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they denied me. When wow. I was in the Boy Scout uh, program because I don't forget what they said, but you know, it was mostly you know white yeah. guys. They're Caucasians, mm. and um, I just that remember us. That. We don't. We need to. That's why I'm. I'm. We're building a. We built this content creation studio to show that we. Us can have our own, and we can be just as creative as them. Right? You know, um, man, yeah, I would, man, I would love to be this to come in and just chop it up with them. Because yes, I have a program. It's called uh, Get Your Swag On. 
And swag on stands for stop wasting abilities and gifts on nothing. I got you. You know what I'm saying? It's very important that 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 we give back to the next generation. They need help. They need help. Yeah, they need help. It's getting, <laughs> man, it's getting out of our control, man. Out of our control. <laughs> right. Uh, the internet got to take mine more than man. Uh, man. Parents, I, you know, and then uh, school, you know, school students, you know, it's, it's very important when mm, our kids' life is actually there. That's you know, true. Uh, one day, you know, and that's for anybody, one day we could be here, next day we could be oh. home. These uh these school shootings and stuff. It's ridiculous. Man, it's making me scared. You know, <laughs> before I had a child, I was prepared for anything, but now I got a child, I'm scared yeah. of everything. <laughs> I'm like, man, should we homeschool my dear <laughs> God? Uh, but pouring um our knowledge into our kids, yes, it actually makes us better. Mm. It reminds you or yes. reminds us of um where we come from. It yes. reminds us of the education that we had that we forgot mm. that we're trying to install it into these kids. Come on, you know, um, for those who do have children, it's a blessing. Yes, and I hope that every father, you know, is inside mm. of their children's life. You know, because you know, we only get one. You life. only get one life, one father. Yes, uh, and it's very important, man. Mm, so, on those kids you bringing in, do all of them got the dad in their life, or some no. of them, some of them missing? Most of the parents um, are they are single parents. Okay, in, in that program. Oh wow! Uh, we actually have one. Um, we actually have one kid. He got both parents in his life, but mm. um, you know that parent, the, the father, don't know. Okay, what I know. Oh, right. I like and, um, and he actually like, wow, um, I thank you for this program. Mm. And they actually send me messages um, even now while we on the downtime that um, their son is doing very good in school. I love it. The program, mm. you know, and stuff like, you know, messages like that was keeps me going. Yes. You know, it, uh, it keeps you motivated. It keeps right. you pushing towards to the next level, man. Right. And I think I think that's so, 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 so important. Um, so what what are some of the challenges that you think you have dealt with? When it, when it when it's transitioned to this entrepreneurship and vending, what are some of the challenges and the failures that you want to share with the people? Um, so everything, the whole world revolves around money, man. So one of the biggest obstacles is you got to yes. pay people. Nobody <laughs> wants to do anything for free. Nobody. Uh, and me having a small family growing up, mm. you know, um, I'm like, man, I don't even have money to pay this person, that person. Yes. I'm doing everything on my own. I'm the <laughs> I'm the uh, marketer. Everything. I'm the promoter. Yes. I'm the um, signer, undersigner. I'm, I'm everything, man. Yes. Uh, I'm the office administrator, <laughs> human resource. Come um, on. So, uh, yeah, that's lot. one of the hardest things. Mm. And then having five different businesses. So, my, think about your mindset. Got to go from this target audience to this target audience to this target every single day. Hey, hey. Every we, single day. We got about eight different streams of income. Right. Wow. We got four LLCs. So, I know. Right. I know the grind. <laughs> right. I know right. what you have to do. Right. And you have, you have to transition your mind right. to now I got to go speak to this audience. Now I got to shift to this. Right. Like me and you, we doing this one. This is uh, Why Now Is Your Time podcast. Uh, me and my wife, we doing One Marriage, Two Hustlers podcast later today. So, you know, so right. it's like now right. I'm speaking to entrepreneurs mm -hmm. right now, but later I got to speak to people that's either trying to get in a relationship Right. People that's already in a relationship, right. people that's married. Now my whole my whole talk right. got to change. Right. Can't talk about getting this money no more. Right. Entrepreneurship, right. Right. that's over with. And the <laughs> power of being able to do that is so magnificent, man. Like being able to switch your mind from yes. this to that to that. It's almost like you're superhuman. <laughs> I know, right? And, and, and people who don't do that or can't do that, they don't understand that it's very hard to do that. Mm. You know, like you got to. Forget about what happened earlier. <laughs> you forget, forget about forget it. about the conversation earlier. You focus on this target audience that you got to please these people. Because yes. if you accidentally say something about entrepreneurship, they go like, "Man, I'm in a relationship. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> they want help on this area, right? So you got to like, hey, cut that off, right? You know what I'm saying? Now let's talk about okay. We talking about these three topics later. Right. We're bringing this up for our audience and stuff like that. So I mean, I just think I think it's important that that people understand like. It's actually a black inventor sitting in front of me, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that he doing it from scratch. Right. You know, so some people don't. To me, listen, I'm not an inventor. Right. I'm a creator. <laughs> I can create a lot of stuff, but I'm not an inventor. Right. So for me, you know, like me, I wrote this book. Like I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a creator. But I can't. The event man. thing is tough. Right. It's very <laughs> tough. It's very very tough. tough. You are very unique. You know, like the percentage. I don't even know the percentage. I know the percentage of people who wrote a book is uh, 0.08 of the world. Wow. 
So not even one percent. So I'm, I'm pretty sure inventors probably be less than that. Way less than that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. It's like another level. I'm like, right. whoa, how you think like this? Right. You know what I'm saying? And I do have, I do like you have on your Instagram, you have like uh uh um the little different things that it do. Uh-huh. That's very unique though. What made you do yeah. that though? Um so a lot of people it's so it looks so simple. Um, mm. but there's a lot of different um, mm. components to it. Come on. Um, but it don't need a key and it don't <laughs> need a combination. And Come you on. take it off just as fast as you put it on. Mm. And it's not um it's not flexible. You know, it's pretty rigid, you know, so it's hard Come to on. take off for, mm. for a child. I'm gonna and put that know. in the description so they can go find you. Uh, yes, I'm gonna make sure it's they uh, find it's you. It's uh, heavyjam.com. <laughs> if y'all looking for it right now, it's heavyjam.com. Yes. Um so how your website? So your website, what made you um so you 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 send everything on your website? Yeah. Um, okay. So right now, um, it's on a website, or you can uh, find me in person. We always on foot, um, going to different stores. Ooh, I um, love that. Yeah. So foot crew. Yeah, foot crew. Uh, Man, it's only just three of us. You know, we walk okay. into gun stores. We walking into different. What kind of feedback y'all getting from gun stores? They love it, man. But a lot of places we go in is franchises or commercials, so mm. you know, we got to go to the higher chain oh. and all that. You know. Are they so, giving you the information? Yeah, they give me the information okay. to go. But then I'm the sole person, so <laughs> <laughs> so I got to find. Find a day to just sit down and just <laughs> yes. work on that. Yes. And, but I got so much stuff going that yes. it's hard to sit down and just work on one thing. Mm. You know, but so I get to it, you know, I gotta write down a daily schedule, a to do list, mm. and I get to it, and then you know, it just get taken care of. So let's compare your football schedule to your entrepreneur schedule. <laughs> you know what I'm you know, this is my first time ever trying to think about that, man. Uh, Wow, <laughs> both the both schedules are hectic. Hectic, man. Um, so your football schedule is literally from five thirty a.m. to five thirty a.m. <laughs> I love that. No, I'm not actually serious. Yeah, you gotta eat right. You gotta you gotta you gotta eat right. You gotta make sure you gotta go work out. Sometimes you're doing two days. Right now you gotta go to class. Man. You gotta get out of class. Now you gotta study. Right. I mean, and so- even when you get to go home at <laughs> seven thirty, eight o'clock at night, your Come body on. is still need to replenish. Man. Man. Still, you on schedule mm. you know, to rehydrate. Re- That's why body. I said you gotta respect LeBron James' twenty year journey. You man. Yeah, he's different. He's and, different. And, and when people are different, they make it look easy. They and the easy. outside world thing, like, oh, is it, you know, but no, at, like, he's doing it at a very high level. High like, level. Can't do and, it. and I think people need to understand, like, so we're still talking about this schedule. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, so 5.30 a.m. Um, for a football schedule, you okay. know, most people waking up and you yes. got to put some in your stomach to go down and lift weights at yep. 30. Yep. And then once you lift weight for an hour, 45 minutes, Come you on. Get, uh, take a shower, <laughs> get ready for class. You know, you know how class is. That's from like 9 to sometimes 3 p.m. And then you got football practice. All you got to lift weights again. All you got to watch film. And then you wait till 7 o'clock. Come on. And then you got to go eat because you got to keep your yes. body replenished. Yes. So yes. then that's like 7.38. And then you get home, you got to do homework. Oh, man. And that's from like, what, 9, Killing 10, me. Killing 30. Me. Depends on how serious you is with it. Sometimes I've been up to 1 o'clock doing it, man, because I was taking engineer class. Come on. You know, so then you got to get your sleep. And mm. then you're back again. So on that ground, are you on that same ground as an entrepreneur? Yes. It's there we worse. Go. It's worse. It's worse because I don't have enough time. <laughs> It's really, I don't have enough time, man, because I have a child, you know, um, he's, you know, I got to tend to him. Yes. You know, I got, I got five different businesses. I got to tend to that. And, oh. and I got to feed my child. Come and I on. Put him to bed. <laughs> and then you got to have your family time. You got a lady? You got a lady. Okay. Yes. I got to tend to She won't, she won't time. time. She won't time. <laughs> then I got to fix stuff around the house. <laughs> then I got the dogs. I, I didn't say I got a, a kennel. I oh, my God. Almost 14, 15 dogs. <laughs> oh. Like seven Corsos, okay, uh, Frenchies, you know, and it's mm. very successful right Do now. Do you know a guy named um um uh uh, uh Chris Nightingale? Sound really familiar. Chris Nightingale, that's my guy. Mm. He out of Crosby. Oh yeah, yeah, sound familiar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. he 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 do he do the dog thing too. Right, man. Oh and, man, and that's a uh, challenge within the sub because mm. those are other living mm. human beings, you know, you got to take care of them. I know, you know, and that's a, I'm being I'm very successful with the kennel. Oh, right, so I yeah. got a, a big target audience, um, mm. big audience with the um, black line kennels. I got you. And then I also got Frenchies, and I got a um, that's growing as well. Ooh, um, yeah, um, you you on a mission. 
Yeah, so I actually got um so for those who wants to be an entrepreneur, yeah. yeah, come on. Um I got these business cards and even though you I don't use um the business cards on a daily, it's best that you have it because yes. you don't know who you might meet in the elevator. Yes. And it's a time right there that you can get mm, in the card. I like you know, that. So they can look you up or they can re- be reminded yes, that, who you, know, you are who, you, who they spoke to. Mm. You know, so this is just a few that I have that's active. I got campaign renovation while I'm a contractor in it. Oh my talk a, about it. Investor, yeah. So on. this one right here, campaign renovation. Um, I actually started off 2017 after mm. Hurricane Harvey Come on. up houses for FEMA. Come on. You know, I actually went in to inspect it to see what was all wrong, and that was so heartbreaking, man. People come spent on. their life savings on houses. Of course. And then they gotta come and meet me the first time back at that house um to sub me for me to assess it. That's crazy. And you usually see people break out crying. <laughs> And so then that's why, man, I I I'm, I have more fun or I could be more helpful in mm. the field mm. versus being a project engineer in construction. Got you. So that's when I went out and built my first um, entrepreneur, mm. I like um, that. my first business, which is campaign renovation. Mm. I was successful in this and still successful in this. I built enough money to start working for myself. <sighs> Um, I actually started. I love it. Um, I, I love I, it. Thank you. <laughs> I actually started buying houses, and I fixed them. I fixed on my own houses versus mm. working for um, homeowners. Yes, you know, because you can never be too good for homeowners. That's true. You know, every time you think you finish, they're like, "Hey, you got this and that." <laughs> so you know what? I said, "Okay, I I'm gonna mo- do this right." right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? So I know what I'm gonna do this for three more years. And I'm gonna <laughs> stack my money up. Yes. And I'm gonna buy my own house. Come on. And I'm gonna start working and fixing on these houses, mm. and that's more profitable than. Oh man. Homeowners. So what's the the second one. He gave it to y'all. The second Multiple one, streams of the, income. The second one is the heavy jam is what the inventor is. The inventor. Mm. And that's this product right here. Come I on. actually spent almost $20,000 before I made $1. Cool. And that's with the patent. That's what we designed. That's Come what we shipped over here. That's we getting almost 3,000 packages ready to sell and package. <sighs> that's with marketing and advertising. So Come on, man. That and, and, and my grand opening was February the 13th. Mm. It was going to be the fit team. I was like, I should do it before Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. You know, get that out the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so actually, February 13th. And since mm. February 13th, I actually sold over 300 packages. Oh, man. I yeah, love it. All from online. Mm. Um, on the news as well with this product. Um, okay. ABC 13. Come on. Um, go to um, uh, Houston Man Creates Gun Device. Mm. And you'll see it. Um, and, and being on the news, it actually got me like, uh, I would say, 150 um, sales. You know, and then Come I on. had to reach out to influencers, content creators. Yes. Um, and they got on board. They're like, wow. And I had to go to the target audience for yes. that, which yes. is gun lovers. Come on. You know, and Black Rambo TV. Shout Come out on. to him. <laughs> uh, he actually was the first one I actually reached out to. Mm. Um, he did a um, video for it. And I got like another 75 orders. Come on, man. The rest of the orders is me being on feed, going to market yes. shows, yes. talking to people, individuals, family. You know, I'm speaking so. three thousand, man. In the next, in the next eighteen months, man, we're gonna speak it, man. We're gonna get in front of the people, yes, man. The yes, people have, need to see. Yes, have me back here next year, and I'll let you know how. Yes. It's going. You know, if I come back with a suit and <laughs> act like I'm too good, you know. <laughs> No, nah, yes, I wouldn't sir. do that to you, man. I, nah, I, nah I, man, that's good though, because yeah, that's that's what that's what people need to see. People say, look, I tell people when you got one income, you're too close to zero. Yeah. So you gotta have multiple. What else you got? What else so you got? Here I you actually come. have the black line corsos. Um, okay. That's with my um my kennel. Mm. I got the best dogs in the nation. Now, come guys, on. Go to my go to my Instagram, come on. Go to my Facebook. He didn't say in Houston, he right. said in the nation. The nation, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, go to my Instagram, Facebook, Black Line Corsos, Black mm. Line Kennels, and you'll see my dogs, man. A lot of people love them. Okay. You know, and I'm actually taking off in it. I man. love it. Right. Thank you. I, got I love it. Big. They big, they strong, mm. they great structure. How, what's the average what's the average cost on them? Um, so um the average cost is like twenty five hundred. Oh, yeah. Uh, but okay. my I, um, so since I've uh, been excelling at a higher level, I got mm-hmm. the best. You know, mine could range from thirty-five to forty-five. I'm gonna show you my uh, my wife's, not my wife's, my cousin husband. Maybe you know him. His name is. Uh, let me see. Uh, here, here you go. You know him? Yeah, I seen that. I've seen that dog a few times. Yeah. So he. Uh, let me see. They do. They do pretty much. They got they, they business too. Yeah. So I mean, 
Um, so, so, right, so, yeah, so then I got so that's with the corsos, okay. Italian masters. Then okay. I got the Frenchies. That's a whole different, <laughs> a whole other breed, a whole another breed, a whole another <laughs> target audience. You know, and I haven't got business cards for that one yet. Yes, um, but that's actually. But that, I think people need to understand that, like, how important to have business cards to give to people because people will remember those business cards. Right, they remember your name. They remember you. Right. So even now, I have a whole box full of business cards that I've met. People, you know, and mm. you know, I have to like go back and like, man, I need a, a agent or I need Come a lawyer. You or, can follow up. I can follow up. I can go back to that box full of business mm. cards and down like, hey, I remember this guy. Let me give you an idea though. This, this is something I'm starting to learn to do. You remember how back in the day we made like books, uh -huh. like books with like pictures, mm -hmm. and we made like CDs with all our CDs. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm starting to do that with business cards. Okay. So then categorize. and categorize yeah. So I say, uh, real estate agents, uh, content creators. Uh, and then that gives me a list of people I can go back and always follow That's up with. Smart, man. Smart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's just, it's just a, so that you, you know, I, I, I should handle this person. Right. And then, of course, sometimes you may have like 20 real estate agents. So you're like, like, which one did you get the best vibe with? Right. You know what I'm saying? You just got to go with, with your right. guts. And and then the, the importance of having this business card, like say you make a really great impression and on an elevator pitch. Come on. And then you get a guy your card. Mm. You got to remember that card and actually give you a call. Yes. Like a woman, lady, whoever. Yes. yes. Person. Is um say you do a bad elevator uh, elevator pitch mm. and then you give them a car they might not you know, mm. but that's what goes into marketing and I tell people too though if your if your website I see I might I might have to take a look at your website I'm gonna critique it too oh yeah so yeah. I, I tell people I that love, <laughs> I love critique. you know what I'm saying yeah. I like to critique it like it, if I get to your website and I don't see things like where they can subscribe if I don't see things like or who is the creator of this? Where are they? They selling you on a video. Like your your site should be speaking to people. Right. It should be your. I, to me, social media we visiting because mm -hmm. we can get kicked off. To, we can get kicked off tomorrow. You might can say something. Right. And they. Right. I've been in Facebook jail, so I know. Me too. <laughs> me too. So Instagram deleted my account, <laughs> and I had to write them and why they were wrong. Yes. Right, and that's your whole. <laughs> that's right. your, so <laughs> now I tell people, this is why you want to get your own house on the internet, right? Website and your home, your own house is your is your website. And once you, if you can just focus every year getting a hundred thousand people to know, like, and trust you, now that becomes your audience. Mm -hmm. Ten years in, now you got a million people you can follow up with. Right. Those are the I'm just saying, those are the things you gotta think about. Right. You know, when it comes to business, I think people tend to oh, I'm I'm posting on social media. I'm like, wait, social media can kick you off tomorrow. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. <laughs> so, yeah, they so, will. So but if I got everybody email and phone numbers, because right. the, the text is the new thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? People right. you can text them at any time. So man, um, so I have a game I always bring it up for entrepreneurs. It's called the word game. I, I say a couple words and you tell me what you think it mean. The first thing is mindset. What that mean to you? You gotta you gotta have a strong mindset. Um, you gotta be um, persistent. Mm. You gotta be able to ignore um, haters, naysayers. Come on. You gotta be able to keep going past your your breaking point. Mm. You know, and your mindset can make or break you. you mm. know, it's all about your attitude. The next word is um poor what that mean to you poor that means when i hear poor i think of pouring everything you got into it 100 mm. percent. Uh, your heart your your mind your soul come on your energy mm. every single thing pour it all out you know? mm. and i tell people all the time there's an acronym for poor and then poor stands for passing over opportunity repeatedly now in order for you not to pass the opportunity over the thing is, if you pour into everything you do, you will never miss the opportunity. Right. But people miss the opportunity all the time. Yeah, man. You, know? you got to be ready for them opportunities. <laughs> you got to be ready. You got to be ready. And you don't know when it's going to come. Mm. You know, being an entrepreneur, opportunity can knock any single time of the day. Anytime. It might not come this week. It might not come <laughs> next month. But if you're not prepared, it's going to pass you up. You yes. Know? every All the time. The next one is money. Money. Man, uh, being an entrepreneur, money is everything. Mm. It's, not, it's not everything, but it is everything. <laughs> uh, and, and that's hard to explain. It is. You don't want to just do it for the money, but you need money to make it happen. <laughs> Listen, man, money, there's an acronym that says momentarily own, not external yours. So money is a tool, but this is the thing about money. It's just, money is like oxygen. 
You need to survive. Right. If you run out of oxygen, you die. If you run out of money, you <laughs> poor. poor. <laughs> so, I mean, it's important that people understand that the money is going to be the money and we're going to get the money. Right. And uh, I hate people, especially us, we always say, I don't want to charge people. And then you're going to do it for free. But when they pay, they pay attention. Right. And this is facts. Right. You know, so you don't want to really spin your wheels. Um, the next thing is, what do family mean to you? Family is everything, you know, uh, mm. without family or support, you know, you could feel very lonely. You um, can. Family is, you know, is, is thicker than water. Mm. And like friends could go away and, you know, be mad at you, but yes. even your family be mad at you, you can't, you know, erase DNA. Mm, that's true. You know? Now, um, I'm glad you said that your friends go away, but do you believe that friendships expires? Some can. Some people can outgrow each other. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, it, it can expire, <laughs> you know. I mean, you don't want, um, unfortunately, to try to bring somebody up that's dragging you down. That's true. And along the way, I had to, you know, um, unfortunately, learn that's true. To let go of a lot of friends. Yes. Because they, they, um, they didn't know or see the vision that mm -mm. I have because mm -mm. they didn't go to places or see the things I saw. Come on. You know, so and I say, hey. Man, you go around this corner right here. Mm -hmm. It's a hundred dollars if you dig or do this yes, here. Yes, They say, man, I only been down the street this way. I can't go that way. Mm, so that's you, good. So what you gonna do? You gonna be like, <laughs> you gonna go that way with him when you know? <laughs> that's it. So a lot of I think they do expire, right. and and people and I'm learning, and I, I learn every. I'm learning all the time that people, if they don't see your vision, when I tell people, man, we got a podcast room vision. And this is step one. We're building a 10,000 square foot soon building with five podcast rooms, two state of the art um, classrooms we can teach. You know what I'm saying? You could probably come in and teach people on how, how to start an invention. You know what I'm saying? Like, is you, we, we building a facility so that people can, who, who create content can think. But the problem is that when people don't see your vision, I tell people if they don't grow, they can't go. Right. So they don't grow with me. You can't go with me. Right. And um, <laughs> the people who saw my vision first was family. Mm, yes, know? sir. And then I try. Then you go out to friends, and then you mm. go to associates. You know. So that's why family is more important. Yes. You can trust them first. Yes. You know. And then your friends, you go. You get their opinion. <laughs> yes. Because you know, they'll be truthful. <laughs> <laughs> I got some friends like, man, that ain't crap. <laughs> that's good. You know. But uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, good thing they all love my invention. You yes. Know? So that helps me keep going further. Yes. You know. But along the way, there was a lot mm -hmm. of friends that I wish would have came with me. But they not. But they not. Uh, but you keep going. And actually, you could meet a friend today or tomorrow, and they be better than family. <sighs> Say that know? again. And that that soon may expire, you know, because yes. we all put people in our life for, for a reason. For, and for a season. Right. <laughs> it's, it's never forever. No, no, mm. You know, so... You know, um, love the people who are here with you and mm. appreciate the people who are with you today, you know, because friendships expire, everything expires. Mm. So, and I think and I think that's good, man. Yes, so this is a time that I always ask people, like, is there anything you want to ask me? Because I like to flip the table around and say, because, you know, some people are like, I want to ask you some questions. So, I mean, so is there anything you want to ask me, man? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, it's my turn to be in the question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so how did you get here, man? What, what, how did you get the vision to do a podcast? And uh, what are some entrepreneurships that you have? Business? Man, first of all, when you, whenever you start being an entrepreneur, no one thing is going to be a, learning, a lonely journey. Oh, yeah. It's going to be lonely because while I'm an entrepreneur, all my friends was at work. Right. So they didn't even see what I see. Right. They wasn't even buying marketing classes. They wasn't even going into different things, trying to build their brand. So they didn't understand nothing that I was doing. Right. So number one is going to be lonely. Right. I understand that. The second thing is the minute somebody started to rent out, wanted to rent our house out, that's what we said. We need to get a studio. They can rent that out. So people wanted to rent our house, our podcast room at my house. Oh, I see. So we're like, oh, look, this is get a oh, building. So you have that opportunity to do it here? Yeah, right here. Right? You see the prices? Oh. People oh. can't rent that. They can, they, we rent this room out all week, every wow. week. Wow. That's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So oh, this is just, this can come down. That's why we got multiple furniture in here. Wow. So you can just move the furniture how you want. This side, that side, use that wall. We can do whatever you feel. 
is is yeah, comfortable. Nice, right. <laughs> and that pays for itself. Oh yeah. That's the name <laughs> of the game. That's and then the second thing is, man, it's just start to create a, a dream environment, not a not a dream vision board. Think about that. Environment. So I mean the people that you're around is pushing you to new levels and new heights. Right. Versus you got a vision board that you're trying to shoot for a goal. See, but the people around you great, they're gonna push you to greatness. That's true. So you gotta really start thinking about your your vision environment. Yeah, because um I actually read a long time ago Come on. you are the average of the five people that you spend. Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> average of the five people. So yes. you got four great people and then that one is a a, a, a Debbie Downer. <laughs> That four average <laughs> is going to be brought down to, yes. you know, that. But you got five great people, then that average is going to be a lot higher. Yes. We all know from school that one F mm. can take your grade to, from an A to a C. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Quick. And it's Quick. Like, and right. I tell people this, like, say this glass was representing your body, okay? We have a bottle of water. We pour that. Now, we pour that water in that glass. That water represents the positive energy. Now we got positive energy inside of your body. We put that dime and drop it in that glass. Now we have a vision. All right? We have a teaspoon of negativity. We pour that teaspoon inside of that water. What happens? Over the dime. The dime. So you can no longer see the what? The vision. The vision become cloudy. So the problem is we got to surround ourselves around people who don't have that teaspoon of negativity. Right. So we can all see the vision. Right. The problem is the vision get it gets blurry right. when we and you got to get yourself as a plug. When, whoever you plug into every day or whatever you plug into is what's right. reciprocate to right. you. Energy. So if you, I learned some people had to stop talking to because all they were saying was, "Man, I got a job. Man, I'm gonna be here for thirty years. Man, I, I stop talking to them. Right. I start talking to people. Say, hey, man, how we getting this million this year? Right. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, same, right. Yeah. Same page. Yeah. How we getting this million, man? Right. What, what, what products are we selling? Right. You know what I'm saying? How are we going to market it? How your website looking? Right. You know, I got around those people. Right. They shifted the the, the dynamic of my thinking. That's lit. Versus being yeah. around people saying, oh, I went to work, man. They, they didn't treat me right today. I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> right. I ain't working for nobody. Right. I ain't pressing right. no clock and I ain't going back. Right. What you learn about marketing today? <laughs> yeah. Advertising. Yeah. Right? Right, because they actually make more money being an entrepreneur than working at nine to five. Say that again. Right, bro. and a lot of people go to college mm. you know, to work a nine to five. When really, when you go to college, you can become an entrepreneur because you're learning more than the owner of it. Yes, you know, yes, so. and that's and that's important. Anything else you want to ask me? Uh the floor is yours. The floor is yours. So, what's your goals, man? Uh, man, in the next year or two, man. Man, I um, know you say you're gonna have a, like a big warehouse. Yeah, um, but. Do you see um, yourself like mainstream or? I or? see us doing a daily uh, motivational podcast show. Just uh, some every day, three or four hours. Just getting on there talking about entrepreneurship. I also see, um, I'm, I'm starting my academy. It is a entrepreneur, why now is your time academy. It's an eight month course. It's $11,000. But I also see me helping 200 people become millionaires. From their own brand and their own products. Because my brand is built on three principles. Life, brand, legacy. I teach people how to design their life, create their brand, and leave their legacy. With their own information and products. So I think people need to understand like how to build greatness. How to build these things out. Because again, you can go to school and spend 100000 But you can come to me and spend 11000 eight months. And I can teach you how to build your brand. And those those skills I I, I teach you is going to last you a lifetime. No doubt. I learned you know? a lot from you already. So let me <laughs> ask you, how long do you think it's going to take for you to be a millionaire? Or is, is that a goal? It's already, it's already done. You mean, you know? Yeah, it's already Nigga, done. I'm talking to a millionaire. I didn't even know it. <laughs> it's already done, dog. <laughs> so let me ask you, man, like when you became or, um, or now that you was a millionaire, is that something you like, you don't brag about it no nah, more? No, I'm not so much. My thing is I want to... And I want to impress upon people, not impress them. So, I mean, my, my job ain't to impress you. My job is to impress upon you, to show you that if I can do it, you can do it. The difference is our mindset. The difference is what are you selling? The difference is what your marketing look like. The difference is every day you wake up, what are you thinking about to transition your life? People, I tell people, uh, 2,700 
I mean, two thousand $2,780 a day is a million dollars a year. Okay. All right? So that's hard to get every day though. <laughs> it's it's hard. It's hard if you don't if you if you don't have no marketing plan. That's true. It's really easy if you got multiple products. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. So say you had a product over here you're selling for three hundred dollars and you get five people to buy that one. You have another product over here you're selling for ninety seven dollars. Get like eight hundred. That's what I'm saying. Think about think about the numbers. My my pod, my podcast ebook costs forty seven dollars. So if I just get ten people a day, how much money is that? That's five hundred dollars. Now, my podcast course costs two hundred ninety seven dollars. If I can get ten people a day, that's three thousand dollars. My mentorship is twenty five hundred a year. My goal only just trying to get a hundred people a year. That's two hundred fifty thousand. Those are the numbers you have right. to see. Right. And then, it seems hard when you look at that number, mm -hmm. but if you have multiple products that's making right. money. And then, yeah, and I, and I like how you did that because <laughs> like you don't hit the goal for that for that one particular entrepreneur business. You got the other ones to make up for it. <laughs> yes. and that's how you're going to reach that goal. Man. 900 a day. Yes. That's, that's brilliant. Yes. Yeah. So that's, that's the mindset you have to see is like, right. It's easier once you have multiple products. Right. Once you got multiple products moving, you're like, okay, ah, uh, okay, go buy this. Oh man, I want to know about podcasting. Okay, go buy this. <laughs> yeah, go buy this. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to tell you about it. Right. You know, oh man, um, what else you do? Uh, well, me and my wife, we have multiple businesses. Every business we have, you don't see our face. We have multiple businesses making money. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> it's every business you have, you don't have to show your face. Right. There's a lot of behind the scenes business that you can you can create. Right. That you can make money. Right. I try to do that too. I don't show my face, but it seems like it. every time <laughs> I got to get my face out there, you know, yeah. it's forcing me to get my face. Out. Yeah. So like, like one of the, I just tell people one of the moves, like say, say you had a cleaning company, you ain't cleaning the houses though, but other people are. Right. Yeah, and I'm glad you said that because <laughs> I'm working on a seventh business right now. Ooh. I'm about to buy a um I got a friend, he's selling his zero turn lawnmower. Ooh. And I'm about to buy a trailer, work trailer, Come on. so that I can put that lawnmower on the trailer. That together that probably cost me four thousand dollars. Um I got a few um Hispanic friends Come um, on. Me on the construction Talk side. So they looking for more work. Yes. Um so I'm gonna ask them, uh, you know, to run this lawnmower business. Mm. And even if they say no, I could find somebody you else. You find it. somebody, and that's gonna take care of itself, man. That's because people gonna always need the yard cut, just like a hair cut, like a haircut. Right, your hair gonna keep growing. Look, listen, listen. I, me and my wife live in a townhome, and I don't even cut my grass. Right, straight okay, up. So somebody making money. Somebody <laughs> making money. <laughs> and you know why? Because I got other things I'm doing. Right. That. That one hour is not worth my time. Right. And it's so easy <laughs> to, to uh to, to take a new customer and learn more. He's like, what they paying? What you paying? 35 for him? Okay, 30 for me. Yes, yes. You know, so I mean, it's like right. I tell people all the time, like, I mean, people are like, I mean, you got time to cut your grass, but it's not a it's not a I'm learning something about time. Right. There's only three things you can do with time. Spend it, waste it, or invest it. Right. Cutting grass to me is wasting my time. I'm going to just spend money. I know they're going to come every two weeks. Right. Like clockwork. Right. And they're going to be better than you. <laughs> Way better. <laughs> and be quicker. And quicker. <laughs> and it's, it's two or three of them. Right. So I'm paying yes. for two or three of them right. for $50. Right. <laughs> I mean, you right. know what I'm Absolutely. So, I mean, because they got multiple people in my neighborhood. Right. It's a business. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I was like, <laughs> da -da. you know what I'm saying? So that's, and people's like, well, if I had time, I that's you. Right. If you want to waste time doing that, I'd rather come to the studio and make content and release on the internet with that one hour. Right. That's more efficient for me. Right. People need to understand the difference. Everything not work. Something's not worth your time when you realize how valuable you are. That's true. That's <laughs> so, true. There's other things that are, you are valuable. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everything. So eventually, once your money gets super, super, super right, you don't have time. This thing that. right here, you gonna have. 10 people out there doing it and you ain't even got to leave your office. And that's, that's <laughs> why I'm, I'm waiting to get at, you know, once I'm able to get other, you know, people out there yes. working for me, footwork, you yes. know, more revenue going to come in. Man. I can't go to 10 places at once like these 10 people. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You know, it's so. leveraging the time of others. Right. In order to get rich, to get filthy rich, is learning how to leverage the time of others. Right. Yo, I tell people, I, I, ask, I ask this question. If if I gave you 
$86,400 a day. And tomorrow you're going to get it again. For the next 20 years, you're getting 86000 What are you going to, are you going to try to spend all that money? No. Hmm? No. So, because you're going to get it again. Right. It's too much to spend. Like, what you going to end up spending it on? Like, all right. So, this like, is the like, thing. Like, uh, so, so we got 86,400 seconds a day. We have to be real conscious on how we spend in that time. Right. Because that's the time we can never get back. This moment we having, we can't get this moment back. Right. The next time you come, you're already probably going to be a multimillionaire. And you're going to be able to say, these are the lessons I learned to make a million. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so it's easier for people to see. I tell people, the way you see this podcast today, with the camera set up. Right. Man, we was we was bootleg, right? Super bootleg. <laughs> One camera. Try to hide, try to hide your phone over here. Get it out the trunk, <laughs> like Master P. Back yeah. So now yeah. we mastered it, right? You know what I'm saying? You talk. This is us. This is you. This is me. Now that's nice. <laughs> that's we didn't nice. master, so now I become a master of podcast, and now I become an instructor, the teacher. I say probably get one right there. So when I'm talking to you like this, I still get my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, we want to get another one. Um, we're gonna get another one, and it's gonna be a moving one. Oh, that's oh. so it's, it just moved like this the whole time. Oh, that's gonna be sweet. It just moves so that you know, like when you ask, like uh, undisputed, I okay. got that camera that be moving. Oh, yeah. So we will have that camera just moving like this. Oh, that's gonna be dope. while we talking. So gonna be dope. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Other than that, anything else? Nah, man. Uh. Yeah, I got one other little one more plug. Come on, yeah, plug, more, it more, more, plug it in. Plug it in. I was yes, looking sir. for more packages to bring. I'm gonna get this one to you. Okay. Um, but I actually found a whistle and I'm actually a coach. Actually. So uh <laughs> I started a new business called Future Bright Athletes. Mm. I'm training uh two to six years old, you know, in sports. And okay. I'm giving them, you know, the opportunity okay. to get out there and get their energy out. Mm. You know, That's your but, product? No, it's not my product, but I showed that uh, I had bought a whistle okay. the other day. Okay. Uh, and I was looking for packages and this was in my truck. Mm. Okay, uh, okay. So uh, I actually bought the whistle for my children yes. I'm coaching. Yes, yes, you know, yes. Uh you know, uh they only pay sixty five dollars a month. Mm. We got ten um children right now trying to get twenty, so that's Come on. like fifteen hundred dollars a month for like one or two hours. Oh wow on Saturday. Mm. You know, so there's a lot of different ways you could, you know, build oh, yes. money and you know, yes. help others while you're building money. So the know? last thing is that uh that chain, is that a bone? Uh yes. So, okay, talk about that. <laughs> yeah, so um I actually got a bone on my chain, it's for my kennel, you know. So okay. actually, when it started taking off, you know, I was like, Man, you know, I actually could, you know, uh, mm. you know, buy a little jury, you know. I, I like didn't that. have jury growing up. You know, <laughs> so I can actually afford it now. Yeah, come on. Yeah, and actually become my good luck charm, you know. Mm. You know, you actually wear a necklace and when you don't have it on, you feel weird. <laughs> yeah. No, so, so what's that Z about? Uh, so all my dogs' names start with a Z. Okay, I got you. You know, uh, I got, I got uh, 13, 14 dogs, a lot of Zs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of Zs. I like that, man. Listen, man, hope you guys, I'm going to have all, the uh, as he's talking, I'm going to have all his information pulling up, his website. I'm going to make sure everything is pulled up. And remember, keep watching me like you watch TV, man. You're going to watch your bank account grow. Other than that, man, look, go out, design the life you want, create the brand you deserve. But most importantly, leave your legacy with your own information and products man god already gave you a gift for what you're gonna do with it we see you guys in the next video peace thank you